Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Total Halibut channel. I've got a special presentation for you right here. A little bit StarCraft related, but if you're into the custom maps, then you're going to want to pay attention because I'm here with the developer of the mod called SmashCraft over on the US servers. And I believe it's on EU as well right now as well. He goes by the name of Mefs and he's going to show me exactly what this is all about and hopefully teach you a few things. So Mefs, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad at all. So why don't you kick us off by telling us just a little bit about what Smashcraft actually is? Um, I guess to put it into a quick summary, Smashcraft is it's a little bit of WoW Arena, it's a little bit of uh, Street Fighter, um, a little bit of Dota, all kind of wrapped into one. Um, I guess the best way to explain it is it's a hero arena with no items, no upgrading, um, none of that uh, that extra stuff and it kind of focuses more on the action and skill based uh, combat uh, as opposed to you know leveling a character and farming and stuff like that they commonly see in games like Dota okay cool right well in that case there's, I don't see any need to delay anymore what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a one versus one here and I've never played this before at all so Mefs is gonna try and walk me through the basics of this and hopefully walk you guys through it as well we'll look at it in a 1v1 environment just have a look at a few of the heroes and then possibly at the end we might go for the full 3v3 action so Mefs whenever you're ready let's kick us off all right let's go um so have you ever played a game like a uh, bloodline champions maybe yes actually yeah I played that in the beta um, I'm told it's sort of like that a lot. Okay. So we're, we're looking at a, a third-person hero arena, which is fixated on individual skill based on one hero, as opposed to stuff like creep farming and items and leveling up and all that kind of stuff. Correct. Okay. Should be in the game momentarily, and then we can have a look at that. Those of you interested in kicking off on this game, by the way, one of the best ways to find the game is to go into the official chat channel, Smashcraft, as you can see on the loading screen right there. That uh, is certainly recommended. I believe that's only on the US servers at the moment, but I'm sure we can set one up on EU as well. I think uh, the host I have on the European server is running a chat channel for it as well. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Um, so, uh, I might want to pause here since there's a countdown. Um, so, basically, you got four classes. Um, each of the classes kind of represents, you know, a pretty common archetype in most games like this. Uh, you have your okay. Guardians, which are kind of like your tanky, uh, kind of mediocre DPS. Mostly, they have a lot of control over a fight. They have a lot of HP, and they have abilities which protect their teammates. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you got your tanks. Uh, Assault is kind of like your... Um, Kind of like your physical DPS. Um, right. Not that ma magic and physical abilities have any real uh, difference in this game, but okay. um, assault characters are typically um, more agile. Uh, they have more mobile attacks. Um, they hit pretty hard. They're a little bit less squishy uh, than like scions, which are casters. Um, but they're still, okay. you know, they're they're kind of like know. the middle ground between guardian and scion, which is yeah tank and like burst DPS. Yeah, so if any of you guys actually play WoW, it's kind of like a Fury Warrior, an Enhancement Shaman maybe, a Rogue, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, cool. And then okay. you have, like, you know, Protection Warrior as the Guardian or, uh, you know, uh, like anything that could be... Yeah. Yeah, or like a Paladin. Cool. Um, and again, Sion is like your casters. Uh, most of their abilities are high burst. Uh, you know, they have really low HP, though. They're really squishy, but their damage okay. is just crazy uh, right. in comparison to the other classes. And then you got Support... Um, they're just your, you know, they can, the support is kind of like a broad, <coughs> broad category. They can be, uh, healers. They can be characters that, uh, enhance your, your, your group's abilities or, uh, even some supports are considered to be somewhat DPS type characters, um, with right. some supportish abilities. So support kind of covers a lot of, uh, um, a little bit of a jack of, of all trades in terms of roles. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I should probably okay. also point out that uh, Guardians do extra damage against Assaults, Assaults do extra damage against Scions, and Scions do extra damage, damage against Guardians. And right. Supports don't have any damage penalties or bonuses, so okay. uh, something Fair to enough. keep in mind. Okay, well, what would you recommend for a beginner? Um, I say pick Ace. Uh, he's pretty uh, standard uh, as far as um, some of the stuff I want to go over, so uh, he's a good okay. pick. Um, I'm going to pick all Zero, the, the Frost Mage type character for now. 
Okay. Well, I've got 30 seconds long of these abilities. So A fires the gauze rifle in a targeted direction. We got grenade toss, we got wild shot, so that's a close range area of effect by the looks of it. Operation yep. Alpha, that's his so-called fury ability. I'm sure we're gonna cover that in a minute. We've also got the reload key and hardened resolve, which is an immunity to stun, snares, and roots for five seconds, as well as a movement speed and damage temporary increase. So basically that's a buffed up will of the forsaken, if any of you have ever played WoW arena by the looks of it basically and every character has an escape ability so i didn't want stuns to become like the uh oh it looks like you picked dex here actually oh um, what oh damn it uh, okay, you had to, right, you had, you had to lock your character back in yeah all right okay right well looks like we'll learn the support we'll go back to ace in a minute all right and yeah, it doesn't matter which map you pick. um but yeah like i was saying uh, every character has an escape mechanic because i didn't want um you know stuns to become you know game breaking uh, since they're, you know, a good a sizable amount of, you know, CCs and stuns in the game. Uh, so every character has a way to break them every 30 seconds. It's kind of like a trinket. Okay. And I know it's Blast Blue music in the background the by the sounds of it. Yep. Really. Oh, yes. I love the inspiration already. Yeah, I am a big fighter fan, so you can probably see where that comes in. So, yeah, yeah movement's pretty standard. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, movement's pretty standard. Just right click around. Um, pretty typical to a MOBA type game. Um, Dex's uh, A kind of works the same as Ace's um, A does in a, in a way. Uh, there's this system called Hit Scan. Uh, yeah. Basically, nothing in this game is like auto targeted. You can't, you know, just click on somebody and you know it, your oh, ability automatically yeah. hits them. So everything yeah. has to be aimed. I'm saying it. Okay. Um, for a character like Dex, he has like a shotgun. So right. if you hit A once, you'll see his uh, targeting reticle, reticle come up, and it'll show you like uh -huh. two of them actually. Yeah. Um, what that's showing you is the range of his hit scan. Um, so if you were to, you know, fire it, you know, at me right now, obviously you'd hit me. Yep. Uh, but the way his works is he actually has. Uh, it's kind of like a scatter fire. So if you ever play like right. you know, uh, an FPS, yeah, just like a scatter um, gun or a shotgun. So it, like it, it, it longer ranges. It yeah. I assume does less damage, but it's it's yeah. kind of like a cone. Yeah, so you're just kind of chipping cool. me uh, at that range. Um, and then the okay. second ring in the middle kind of shows you uh, the closer range uh, hit scans. So if you yeah. hit me, um, you know, like point blank, you're going to do pretty good damage. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I can see that. Cool. Um, now, something to note about the hit scan is the way that it actually uses uh, terrain, uh, terrain collision, and LOS to kind of determine whether it hits or not. So, like, if I'm standing behind a tree, like here, and you were to okay. shoot at me. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I can just see it going straight off the cliff face right there. Yeah, it hits the side of the cliff. Now, um, yeah, again with the tree, uh, uh, trees block, you know, anything that looks kind of like a pillar will block yeah. attacks. But, yeah. Um, and if I was on low ground, uh, to like uh, stay up there where you're at, uh, try and hit me from the edge of the cliff. Oh yeah. But then take a few steps back, like towards the lake, and then try to shoot me. Okay, that's cool. I like the fact as well that I'm, I'm noticing a very large amount of visual feedback here. You know, when it hits something, it's very obvious that it's a line of sight problem. So right. the player's not turning around and saying, why the hell did that not hit and getting very upset about it. Right. And then all right, there might be one thing that might seem a little confusing. That's how height uh, differences are kind of calculated. Um, okay. Actually, the way I decided to do it was that you don't actually have to aim up or down specifically. Um, right. It'll automatically pick the the first target that it can reach. Uh, so basically, what's going on is it's drawing a line along the ground, uh, regardless of whether it hits or not initially, and then it does a second check to see if you're actually an LOS, and then basically draws a line from you to me uh, to, to determine if it hits me or not. So regardless yeah. of what height I'm at, you actually can still hit me. Uh, you know, so it's doom, basically. Correct. Yeah. There you go. Nice and easy. Okay, so we haven't look at other abilities. Nullify, so that protects a target ally with a shield, but I can activate yep. that on myself as well. Okay, neat. Excellent. Yeah, uh, his abilities are mostly zoning and control. Um, he has a heal, which is his uh, the X button. He can drop a drone, which, uh, which does an AOE heal. Uh, okay. for about 10 seconds. It's not the strongest heal, but um, basically the way you want to play de a character like Dex is you want to kind of control an area of the map and make the other team come to you. Uh, right. You know. Okay. Uh, and his Z is like a AoE slow uh, drone. So yeah. Ah, there you go. Hmm. So basically you can have any two drones up. Uh, not You can't have the same drone 
Uh, you can't have like a duplicate of the same drone up, but you okay. can have two drones up within a 10 second period. So uh, right. what most like top level decks players will do is uh, drop like a slow drone um, at an area they want to control, kind of camp around it, and then drop the heal drone, uh -huh. just kind of okay. poke out from there. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're hitting sudden death here because it's the uh, last minute of the game. Everything does double damage, it reveals all stealthers, stuff like that. Yep. Fair enough. So I just rooted you. If you hit G, you'll break out of it with your escape. And his oh, okay. escape cool. also pushes people away and interrupts the casters and stuff like that. So yep. um, all the escapes have multiple uses. Like I'm pretty sure you played WoW before, so I'm actually a yep. frost mage. So mm -hmm. check it out. Ice block. Oh, Use nice. Escape. Nice. Yeah. And that lasts five seconds in this game, uh, but yeah, it makes you. It's pretty much works the same as a uh, you know WoW's uh, frost mage mechanics. If I root you and I do like a big burst on you, it works kind of like shatter. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's only what, what's over this fury thing. Uh, fury. Okay. Um, when you take hits or you do damage, you gain fury, kind of like in Street Fighter. Um, and if you, yeah, his his, you can use a fury once your fury gauge is full. Um, right. In my case, I'm actually uh, just gonna do a big AOE oh. burst attack. Um, but yeah, Dex's is just like a reflection shield, uh, so his isn't really too flashy or anything. Right. But Fury just basically lets you do a, like your super move uh, when your gauge is full. That's yeah, you know, the okay. gist of it. Fair enough. Um, I think that pretty much covers the basics of the game, like. Uh, Kind of I'm noticing a couple of other things, like, for instance, defend and evasion. Uh, these these oh, two yeah. things might be unfamiliar to people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are actually really, really important. Um, I can't believe I forgot about that. Um, evasion is... Well, play with it a bit, yeah. Basically, it makes you yeah. dodge four cells in any target direction that you decide to go. Um, and that's okay. used for more than just dodging. It's actually used a lot in high-level play for... Um, you know, blinking into a group of people if you want to get an AOE off or catching up to somebody or running yeah. away from somebody. So you can uh -huh. use it for a number of things. Like, all right, uh, say I'm like casting at you right now. Uh, you can dodge it at the last second of the cast. Yeah. And avoid if the If I was less attack. terrible anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, right, I'll, I'll I'm do, ready. Do, do, let's, let's go for one more. Let's go for one more. Okay, this one, it's a one second ready cast. So get... Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm feeling so that's, pro. Yeah, that's basically the gist of what evasions were. Um, then you have your block, which is a really short-term um, damage reduction, uh, okay. but it's a lot of damage reduction. Like it actually reduces damage. Seventy-five percent. Uh, Seventy-five percent. But yeah. you can't just like you know spam it and expect to block everything. You actually have to kind of time it around bursts and stuff yeah. like that. Three seconds so, cooldown. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you could use it for a number of things. So you could use it to like. Yeah, preemptively like block as you go into you know close range to somebody. Uh, use uh -huh. it if you're running away in combination with the evasion. Um, but okay. one of the big things is for big bursts, you can time it right before the, the burst goes off, and you know negate a lot of the incoming damage and kind of save yourself right. from getting like you know just destroyed. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna cast uh, my S, which is a uh, kind of the equivalent of like a frost bolt, but an AOE frost bolt. Uh, right. And it's a two second cast, so go ahead and count two and hit W right before it goes off, and you'll no see worries. the difference. Yep. All right, here we go. Ah, perfect. Two no, 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 that, that yeah. was just, just perfectly done. Oh, excellent. Right. Yeah, because yeah, obviously I'm playing on US servers right now, so I'm getting a little bit more latency than I would expect, but yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that was fine. Um,. So yeah, I mean, obviously you can also like fake cast to kind of bait people to do that and then hit them yeah. with it. So there's a little, nice. there's a little bit of reactive skill in the game. Um, okay. Actually, quite a bit. And uh, and then I think the last thing to talk about would be, oh well, yeah, first aid, which is like bandage. Um, it's your E. Yeah. And you it works exactly. Yeah, it, oh, okay. So yeah, it's it's your basic potion. So any interruption, there you go. Cool. Right. Yeah, that, that should make sense to pretty much everybody that's ever played a, a Dota-style game. Yeah, it, it, like I said, it's a mix of WoW Arena and Dota kind of all combined. Um, and then your R ability is usually um, a class... It's not really a class-specific type ability because not every, you know, class character has the same uh, R. Right. But for characters that are casters and have energy, they have Mana Fusion, which is kind of like Evocation, um, but you can spam oh, it. Oh, okay. 
Um, and sense. you have uh, yours is reload since you're a, you know an ammo user. So if yeah. you run out of ammo, you have to stop, reload, and then you can fire again. Yeah. Um, and I think that just about covers everything. Um, wave attacks. Uh, so all right, you've seen this before. Yeah. Um, as you see, mine doesn't really. Uh, wave attacks don't really follow the line of sight rules that uh you know like your shotgun does so okay. i could be hiding out down here on the bottom of the cliff and you could be trying to shoot me from the lake and i can still hit you because it'll go through it, it'll ignore terrain okay um but uh it won't go through things like trees so like if you were hiding behind a tree it won't go through that Fair enough. so i guess that pretty much is it covers okay how to play the game cool well, I'm going to fix myself up a little bit then. Let's get sorted out. There we go. Okay. So for the last 30 good. seconds of this match, I will actually try and kill you, which <laughs> will probably not work out so well, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. All right, so what have we got? Okay, that's a slow drone. Fair enough. Get All right, go for here. it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. I got a miss. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, that blink didn't work. That didn't work at all. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, what the... <laughs> right. Uh... Uh, yeah, this dead. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> so quite a high ski skill ceiling on this game. I mean, what would you say to somebody that was, you know, just at the very start of playing and they might be a little bit intimidated by this kind of thing? You know, what's the best attitude to take? Um, be prepared to get owned a lot. Uh, you know, everybody started out uh, like that. Um, I see a lot of players that you know start playing maybe like a week ago and they're already at the top, you know, top of the ladder, nice. I guess you could say. Um, there's not a, there's not a formal ladder because you can't really, you know, control that with Battle.net, but um, uh -huh. yeah. there, there's a PSR system and if you play ranked games, you gain, you know, like like rating and it's almost exactly like the rating system in, in WoW, except it kind of, yeah. Um, since you're not going to be playing with the ranged teams all the time, it just kind of goes off your personal skill rating. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I see a lot of new players, uh, you know, getting used to the game very quickly. I'd say give it four or five games before you actually start to get it, and then after that, just the more you play, the more you'll get used to the matchups and the characters. And, um, yeah. It's honestly not Would you not recommend that just picking a hero and sticking with it, or, you know, trying variety? Um, I'd say try a little variety, get a feel for a character that, that's fun to you, um, and then uh, from there, decide a character to main. Like, uh, a lot of fighter players will pick one character, uh, that they want to focus yeah. on, like getting really good at, and then go kind of branch out from there. Like, um, I'd say, like if you're really kind of new to these types types of games, I'd say stick to Guardians or Assault because they're you know less squishy. They're a little bit more straightforward. Um, they don't require as much uh, prediction when you fire. Like, uh, you know, obviously I have a cast time, so I have to kind of predict where you're gonna go if I want to get the burst off. Uh -huh. Yeah. And if you move around a lot, like it's really yeah. If you, if you move around a lot, it's easy to kind of juke that uh, and avoid it, you know. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Bit of beginner's luck there. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's just kind of get you. It looks like you've already gotten the hang of decks. I mean, so it, most of the characters really aren't that complicated. There's one thing. No, you can, no, it's, it's not. You can guarantee that you'll kind of see consistent through every character is that they're going to have five abilities. They're going to have that R ability. They're going to have the two reactives, um, the first aid. But mainly you're going to see A being like your your main attack that you're going to spam a lot. S and yeah. D are like kind of character defining abilities. Your F is your fury, uh -huh. and G is going to be your escape on every character. Um, yeah. There's a few characters which have a little bit of a branch off on their S. Uh, like you see, you have a Z and an X for Dex. Um, yeah, so those, those are usually runs. like... Yeah, there's some abilities that basically have the same type of attack, but they have different properties to them. Okay. Um, I don't have one of those, but uh, Ace has one too, where he throws three different. He can throw one of three kinds of grenades. Um, uh -huh. One that silences, one that does a dot, one that has like a slow effect to it. So I mean, the Z and the X is just kind of like a branch off ability. Uh, okay. But other than that, you're gonna find it fairly standard between all the characters. Okay, awesome. Right, well, let's go at it for what could potentially be the last round, and then we'll look to do something a little bit larger scale, perhaps. All right, yeah, let's do it. Okay, bring it on. Which will probably result in me dying horribly. Ah, uh, no, no! Uh, yeah, you didn't take any damage from that. Uh, oh, don't yeah. Uh, G okay. out of roots, so... Yeah. 
Right. Okay, reload, reload. Drone down. It's okay, that can actually aim, as opposed to me who can't, so... <laughs> with a character like that, I guess, you're gonna be kiting quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because I have a 1,000 HP. I'm gonna go down pretty fast if, uh... Maybe not against the X, but against, like, any real DPS character is just gonna wreck me. Yeah. So, it kind of... The strategy of the game comes more into play when you play like 3v3. This game isn't really yeah. balanced 1v1, obviously. No. Um, but you know, tactics like zoning and you know, uh, you know, map control stuff like that all comes into play uh, when you play like a 3v3 game. That and like character synergy yep. and whatnot. Uh -huh. Ouch! There we go. <laughs> well, you took one off of me, so that's good. That's a good start. Yeah, no, not bad for the first game. But yeah, I mean, I've played Bloodline Champions, so I sort of, I do get the idea of this. I mean, I, Bloodline Champions is also based around sort of moving with WS and D, but everything else is should be familiar to anyone that's tried that. And it, but the main thing I think is that anyone that's ever played any kind of Dota game will probably also get the idea fairly rapidly. And yeah. I think a lot of the learning curves of Dota games are actually sort of based around learning item combinations and things like that, as opposed yeah. to anything else. So I'm glad that it sort of takes that away. Yeah, it's it's really meant to kind of appeal to the competitive crowd. Um, you know, obviously it's fun for casuals too, but, you know, don't expect the same kind of item depth, I guess, that you'd see in like a Dota game. Uh, you know, you're not going to have to worry about what levels, you know, what to level next, what skill order to get, what items. Um, you just kind of get thrown right into the action, and it's a really quick game uh, overall. Okay. Right, should we try and find ourselves something a little larger? Uh, yeah, uh, let's get with the MCL for that. He's really good about setting up in-house games. Yes, indeed, folks. We are going to go into the 3v3. I've had my little bit of a tutorial right here. I kind of know what I'm doing. I think I might... I don't know. I think I might try something else, actually, as opposed to that guy. You know, get a little bit of variety in there. Maybe try something with a little bit more range. We'll give that a shot, and we're going into a 3v3 setup right here. It's an in-house. I'm on the team with the developer and uh, the other guy, also known as EMCL. You might be aware of who he is if you hang around on StarCraft Reddit quite a lot. I've been told he's pretty good, so I'm hoping they can carry me. We'll find out. We're up against DG86, Endo, and MSS VTTCK, who couldn't have a more complex name if he tried. Right. Well, I think everybody is ready to roll. So once we are, we can get started. And we'll show you exactly what happens on this map when you go in with 3v3 formats, which is what it's designed for. And please remember, folks, if you're going to start playing this game, read this screen that you see right now. You'd be very shocked how few people actually do. It's very handy. Read it. It has very important things. We had a guy actually when we were playing Star Battle uh, that didn't realize that once you're dead, you're dead, even though it says that on the, the loading screen. He just didn't bother to read it and then complained. <sighs> Some people. Yeah, I found players just don't read anything, so... Tends to be a little bit problematic if you're trying to learn anything. Maybe that's why stuff like Nexus Wars are so popular. Brain not required. Select your character. <laughs> okay. I, I've had people ask me how to do something that's in the loading screen, so, I mean... That's just battle net for you. Yeah. Ooh, this guy's got flamethrower. I like that idea. Pyro. What have we got here? Go for it. He's tanky as oil. Yep. Cerberus, Igniter, Shattering Shell, Forgebound, Ignition. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Go invincible for three seconds, then blow yourself up. I'm a fan. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's pick something that's good with Pyro, since we're going to be making a Pyro team. Um, Zephyr is really good. Uh, EMCL loves Zephyr. Zephyr. Serena, pure healer, makes a Pyro never die uh, for the most part. That's handy. Uh, yeah, I can do Serena. So what you're going to want to do is keep your D up, which is kind of like a global team shield. Okay. Uh, it drops a circle on the ground, so as long as we stay in that, you take damage for us. Right. Um, and you also take half damage while that circle is up, no matter where you are. Okay. But uh, we have to be in the circle to get the effect. Okay, makes sense. Um, your S is a stun. Uh, you just want to kind of shoot people with that, kind of stop them for a second. Right. Um, and then for your... Your escape is a little weird. Uh, you can't escape roots as a guardian, um, but you can escape slows and stuns. And if you're stunned when you use it, it'll stun everybody around you. Uh, so you might want to 
save that first stun and try to counter stun people with it. Okay. Um, but for the most part, it's, it'll get you, it'll free you from annoying things. Okay. Right, I'm gonna throw a preemptive heal on the MCL here. Yeah, that's a little bit hard to actually hit people yeah. with. Let's get this. Well, I mean, it has a multiple, you know, it has a multiple set of uses. Like, you can use it to zone people, you know, just to make them run away from an area, um, which is the most common use for it. Uh, but if you can get a good, like, you know, crowd control off on somebody, you'll hit them with it. Um, so his is a little bit harder to land than most of those, but it's really strong. Oh, God. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, <laughs> that guy does a little AoE, like, stun damage thing. That's just really... Really hurts if he gets all three of us in it, but we're okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A lot of people don't get it with the D work, so probably just beginner's luck. Out. It's fairly intuitive. Like yeah. you, you probably play WoW Arena, so you're used to a lot of the <laughs> same concepts. Yeah, I've done a little bit. I've, I mean, I'll be honest. I've probably played more Bloodline champions than I have WoW Arena. It's just. It's just not... Uh, I don't oh. know what it is about WoW Arena, it's just not my thing. Uh, I like I liked having sort of more direct control and less stats-based stuff, which is why I prefer games like this in WoW Arena than I would otherwise. Yeah. It just uses some of the same... Um, I wouldn't say it's the same exactly as WoW Arena, it just uses some of the same, like, tactical uh, components of it, like, you know... Yeah. Using pillars and stuff to your advantage and stuff like that, but there's no... Yeah. Oh God. I'm horribly dead. Yeah, I'm not the best Serena player, so... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, man. Yeah. I already used my stun break, so... This is gonna come down to me not dying. So all I have to do is outlast him, keep him yeah. dotted. Which, yeah, uh, make sure he's not healing pretty... himself with that first aid thing, I guess. He's doing it, yeah. he's doing he's it. He's not gonna heal too much. Yeah, yeah, not too much. There, yeah, just escaped his, uh, his pull with my stun break. Mm. You're right, though. I mean, this, which this also really does have a very high sort of potential skill ceiling from a competitive standpoint. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm very surprised more people aren't playing it already. Well, we actually, I mean, considering that we're not, like, page one popularity, we're still managing to get uh, teams for tournaments, like, on a weekly basis. So, I mean, I don't run the tournaments myself, but uh, EMCL seems to have a lot of good luck with that. Yeah. Oh, he's got, what, one HP left. Yep. As I can pretty much just tank him at this point. He doesn't do enough damage to really kill me. Yeah. That might, though. Uh, that, that's the only thing I have to worry yeah. about. Oh, he's got no health. There you go. Yeah, Serena's not exactly high DPS no, or anything. No, so I think so. not. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting the idea right, that so you yeah, just gotta... sort of move forward just a little bit faster. Yep. You can use the duck behind pillars, too. Yeah. I mean, stuff like that. There's a lot of uses for it. In terms of this flamethrower, uh, you just sort of uh, hit attack and then just sort of yeah. Play. It's not a hit scan. Yeah, it's actually firing. kind of like an AOE. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a cone fire type thing. Makes sense. He stop moving. Heal it. Ah. I missed. And we're gonna lose the MC here. Ah. Uh. Ow, 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 so ow. yeah, being another a three DPS team, they have to keep this pressure on us, or we're gonna outlast them very easily. Yeah. I'm about to die here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll see at a high level, like a lot of these games just go back and forth like this a lot. Yeah. 
kind of thing that you'd expect. Yeah, small mistakes kind of cost you a lot as well. So like when I missed that heal on, on EMCL and we lost him, that was pretty much our DPS right there, yeah. just gone. Uh-huh. Makes sense. So I want to really kind of focus on keeping him alive. Um, his character is actually kind of like a Fury Warrior. Um, yeah. Yeah, a lot of CC immunities and he just, you know, right clicks and roll full stomps people. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm horribly doomed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not yep. much to be left after that one. <laughs> Infest the dude's almost dead though. There you yep. go. As long as I can keep EMC up, we should win this. Yeah. There we go. Yep. And that's a GG. Fantastic. Well, I feel completely I carried. I say for the first time Pyro, that was really good, though. Uh, what? I feel completely carried. I'm okay with that, <laughs> No, you did. That was that was really good. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, at least I tanked some damage. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, you want to rematch? Yeah, why not? Try another why character, not? Maybe? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Then I kind of hate playing Serena, so. Mm. So I'll let you pick, and I guess we'll we'll build our team around that. Yeah. I like the idea of that Infester. That Infester seemed quite entertaining. Yeah, he's a he's a kind of like a zoner as well. Uh, he has a lot of ways to kind of you can block ramps with his eggs. Um, a lot of his abilities kind of... His A is basically this geyser that stays there for about three seconds. You kind of use that to set up traps. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah. Or just kind of harass people. Doesn't do a lot of damage unless you start stacking them on top of each other. Yeah. And you have a Baneling bust. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, you get... You just spew Banelings everywhere. It's a lot of fun. Uh, go Hawk. Hawk. So we're going to be a little bit squishy, but EMC is probably the best rush I've ever seen. He'll keep us safe. Okay. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel. So randomly guessing my abilities here. Yeah, your D is like an AoE root. Um, most of your shit's going to be casted, though, so uh, keep that in okay. mind. Right. So start off with one of these. There we go. Yep. That just spits, uh, you know, lengths out, obviously. Yeah. I'm gonna root him for you. Run, run, run. Um, his G is like a blink, so uh, his escape right. mechanics. Uh... Okay. All right, so let's cast time on that. Okay. Wow, I don't know what the hell that was, but it looked freaking painful. <laughs> you talking about the airstrike? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think I borrowed under that. Did I borrow under it? Uh, no, I still took loads uh, of damage. I'm dead. God damn it. You, you can't escape from that, though, so... Right. Yeah, I could have just dodged out of the way of that. Yeah, that's another reason you kind of want to save your escapes for, like, moments where you actually need them. Um, rather than just right. kind of blowing the first time. Like, right here, I probably should have used it, because I'm going to die. <laughs> and, uh, there's a little surprise if you kill people with the Banelings, uh, on that character. Nice. I'll have to try and get in a fury to actually cast them from anywhere near it. Yeah, I think this is a foregone conclusion. Yeah. So yeah, we we definitely want to try to get rid of the Omni first, the, the jetpack guy. Um, okay. It's going to be their main DPS. Uh, rush next because he's annoying as shit. Right. And I think they're probably going to let you get the main lane finish off just so you can see it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm okay with this. Alright, got a nice snipe off on the Omni. This guy's a bit right there. Still needs a Fury. 
Yeah, I'm uh, save it till there's only one person up. Uh, you're probably not gonna kill yeah. all three of them or anything. Okay, that's go cast time. Never mind. Okay. Uh, do I have it? Yes, I have it. I have it. Wait, we still got Omni up. Yeah. I thought I killed him. Um. Okay. So when. Ah, yeah, it's not it. gonna be quite, gonna be quite enough. Yeah, let's see if I can get the. I might be able to get enough fury back, I guess. So how is fury generated exactly? Um, every time you do damage or take damage, it's going to. It'll add. It, you basically take. Um, you gain double the fury if you're the one taking damage, and you gain normal fury for doing the damage. So. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Also, I should probably point out if you block damage, you take, you get uh, increased fury as well. Okay. Um, so you're not gonna, I mean, even if you did get yeah. enough up, yeah, it's a 60 second yeah, well, so can't. That's fair enough. We'll, we'll, tr we'll try it on this last game then, I guess. Yeah. At least we think it's gonna be the last game. Oh no, it's it's one all, isn't it? Yeah, we've still got plenty of time to try it. We'll be all, yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, okay, he dodged out of the way of my rope. That's nasty. Oh, we're... <sighs> Ah, that hurts. He help me. I'm gonna die. Uh. Certainly a flashy game, no question about that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like the pyrotechnics. Big fan of it. Have I almost got? I almost have the fury. I think I have it. Do I have it? I think so. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, save it just a little bit longer. Sure. Just, uh, yep. Shout it and let me know when you want it. Now? Yep. Cool. He's probably gonna stun him for you. So yep. many Banelings! <laughs> yes! And he's uh, the only character that has something like that, but it was a joke uh, for the longest time that I was gonna put that in, so I just did it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's fan service and a half. I'm fairly sure everyone's gonna appreciate that one. <laughs> Zergling, save me! Oh yeah, there we go. Nice to see sort of team synergy in terms of the way that the characters actually work. Oh god, he's pulled me back in. Oh! I said, nice to see team synergy annihilated thanks <laughs> to team synergy. Gotta love it. <laughs> yeah. This is a ton of fun. It really, really is. I see myself playing an awful lot of this, especially if we can get it popular on the EU as well. Yeah, from what I, uh, that's that's up to Frank. I don't know uh, what he's doing to kind of get the popularity up for it, but uh, from what he said, it seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, because I don't even think we have stuff like Storm of the Imperial Sanctum or anything over in the EU at the minute. I know we certainly didn't a few weeks ago when I checked, so... I think there's certainly a massive, great gaping void to be filled by a game like this. Oh, image micro. Um, all right, so the character I'm playing, her escape, she splits into the three um, clones. Only two, of the, only one of them is real. The other two just don't do anything. But they, it's like an illusion type ability, so you can actually okay. micro them. Um, so she has oh, a bit nice. of, 
she has a pretty high skill cap, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so you can like hit G and then. Let's all micro them around individually. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and they're automatically bound to one, two, and three, so you can do that pretty quickly uh, without yeah. too much uh, effort. All right, I'm gonna make him waste his uh, reflect shield. And I'm gonna blow him up next time I can. Yeah. So I'll just wait here for root to come up. And ah, I missed. Fuck. Go go go. Ah, I need to stop. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, coordination has to be pretty well executed to get some of your good. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like her, her, her ult pretty much can almost one shot most characters. Um, but it's a really hard ult to land as well. Yeah. Fair enough. Very cool. Fantastic. Well, Smashcraft, ladies and gentlemen, this is available on the US Battle.net. Best way to find a game at the moment, I think, is to join the Smashcraft chat channel. I say it's a little bit far down the rankings. I think. Honestly, that should really be changed. I'm trying to think of a better custom map, and I'm not really coming up with any right now. So, seems to me like the kind of game that you should really go and support. Go and check that out over on the US and EU Battle.net. Just go and look for it. It's uh, one of the categories that it's under, so that it's nice and easy to find. I think it's Hero Arena for one of them, isn't it? Uh, MOBA Hero Arena, uh, one of those two, yeah. Um, and it's currently on page three on the US server. Don't know where it's on Europe, uh, but yeah, if you're going to look for it, that's where it's going to be. Well, hopefully we can change that. Mefs, thanks a lot <laughs> for taking the time to show us this today, and well done. I mean, this is easily one of the most professional uh, mods that I've ever actually seen for this game, and I wish you every success with it in the future. And hopefully, hopefully we can maybe get a little bit of casting of the tournaments done at some point in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, thanks a lot for casting it. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Mefs, the creator of Smashcraft, and thanks to EMCL from StarCraft Reddit for carrying me through these matches. And also a big shout out to the guys in the Smashcraft channel for helping us out with this exhibition. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Total Biscuit. I will see you next time.